Sorry, Snoopy. You can't go with us. Dogs aren't allowed on the school bus. Woof. Good morning, everybody. So, I didn't really get to talk a lot about what happened yesterday because basically I was so busy that I didn't, have, I don't really have any other reason. Um, so, I am actually at Mimi's house right now in her front yard. She's probably gonna think I'm really weird for setting this camp thing up, but uh, mostly doing it for the fun of it, you know, the experience or whatever. I was officially supposed to start my road trip yesterday, um, basically, but uh, I'm kind of delayed again. I mean, I'm out, I'm living in the Jeep and stuff, but the actual like tripping part of it is kind of cut out because my drive shaft completely broke off and I've driven eight hours completely on the front drive shaft, which isn't the best idea I've ever had, but I didn't, I didn't really have a choice. She has, um, she has a rescue actually and Kai has been kind of helping the rescue get out and about because she's terrified of everything and Kai's terrified of nothing. So, you know, it kind of mixes, you know, the rescue's a little scared of Kai and Kai gets up in her face, gets her to kind of come out. And so it's working out pretty well. Uh, oh, okay. So, a, a bit of bad news. I got this plastic container for my eggs and it's supposed to be for cooking you know like I put my eggs in there get a dozen eggs put them in this container and then you know it'll keep them safe you know it just locks up and it works better than you know a cardboard container or anything well at some point this busted open and all I have left of the eggs is just a shelly mess but I have the chorizo I have a busted container of butter and I have the tortillas but I think the tortillas might be bad too so we're gonna find a way to cook these though. I lost all of my eggs are gone, so. Yeah, there's some right there. Awesome. Did you see they took the Native American off the land of eggs butter? See? I'm surprised. There's no more Native American, but they kept your land. Oh, well that was good. <laughs> there we go, tortillas. Yeah, I got water in the tortillas, so I don't even know if they're good or not, but we're gonna find out now. So I should probably talk about who Mimi is actually because I'm over here at her house and stuff and nobody actually knows who Mimi is. So basically, when I was a kid, I had to go to this school and it was called Classical, Classical, it was called Classical Conversation. So the school was like, really weird basically, but I met one of my best friends there and Mimi is actually her grandma. And when we had our group of friends, we used to come over to Mimi's house all the time and we would just do like group hangouts and stuff. And we would go to the park over there, we'd go play at the park and we'd do all sorts of stuff. So Mimi's house was like the ultimate, um, was like the ultimate playhouse. Like we would just go there to hang out. It was a hangout spot. So we were, Mimi's house was like where everybody would hang out. We would, you know, play games here, do all sorts of stuff here. Well, since me and Haley were like best friends, Mimi basically just became like second family to me. So Mimi's like my grandma, but like not by blood, but still basically my grandma. So it's pretty cool. And I haven't got to see her in a long time. So we've just kind of been talking and stuff about life and dogs and stuff. I really would like to get on my trip really soon, but a lot of stuff happened. My camera broke and I'm filming on my phone right now, which is gonna work because it has to work because I have nothing else to do. But you know, eventually I would like to get a camera because I'm filming at 30 frames per second and it's gonna look really weird right now because I don't want to shoot 4K. I'm just gonna cook breakfast and then I don't know, I got a lot of work to do. I gotta find out how I'm gonna edit videos, do all this stuff, and my Jeep is a mess. Kai, you want a burnt tortilla? Hey. Here, have this burnt tortilla. You like tortillas? Chorizo con huevo, burritos, tacos. Muy bien. <laughs> it's not in a very good place. I hope it's not too spicy. I usually, when I make it, my mom says it's spicy. I don't think you yeah, understand. Yeah, I have it. It's really spontaneous for you. You can use them. Oh, that works. Them. There you go. This taco's on the road, guys. I mean, I made them in the Jeep. I mean, I'm in a house now, but. Well, still good. So, are you filming? That's one inch long. I'm filming right now. I think they just need to be like two inches long. I'm doing, um, helping with home repair. Apparently, 
Mimi had her floors redone, the whole house, and they good, took everything out. And so now she needs her table put back together and they don't know where the screws are. So I found this and apparently this fits, the threads are right. And I just, you know, all this stuff. I know way too much about screws from my days of working on Jeeps, so. I like this ruler, it wiggles. So like, even though, um, I don't know where I put my glasses, they're somewhere in the house, but even though I'm not completely living out of the Jeep yet, I'm trying to utilize it the best I can so I can get a feel for it, you know, know how everything works, how everything fits, get used to how it feels. So far, I really hate my organized mess I have in here. It is way too crammed in here, um, and I need to figure out how a better arrangement for it, but just kind of working do right now. I couldn't see anything. These are like prescription to me. I didn't feel like myself without these. They're part of my personality, part of my spirit. I'm gonna go over to my uncle and aunt's house because I haven't got to see my cousins in a while, ever since that boat ride. So my only situation is puppy Kai. Having him makes everything a little bit more difficult, um, but he's just gonna have to get used to it, I guess. And this is really weird filming at 30 frames per second. We're gonna do it though, and it's gonna be great. Okay, let's go. Okay, you're really gonna hate me because I'm gonna have to kick you outside, but come on. Alright. Oh, it's bright outside. It's the baby! Tylenol. Oh, hi, baby Kenan. You gonna go get some Tylenol? I actually don't know what that is. It's tea. It's tea. I not see him, I just see a tongue. Oh, now I see him. <laughs> he got little teeth. He got two teeth. He's birds. eating now. And look, look at that. He's not eating now, but he did try to eat strawberry. He's slow. Blubbery. Blubbery. Yeah, you're fat. Blub. Blub. And your toes. Hello. Hi. Did you say hi, Kai? You no, know, Kai has no manners. Hi. Oh, it's unlocked. <laughs> Never mind. Hello. I know what that laugh sounds like. Hey, Kaden. <laughs> What's up? How are you? What's up? You said it's a vegan? No, it's gluten-free. Gluten-free? Yeah. Oh, it's because your dad? Yeah, he has to have gluten-free. Oh, it's peanut butter. Oh, What kind of food do you use it? Egg, oh, and peanut, peanut butter. butter. Egg, sugar, egg, egg sugar and peanut butter. It's pretty good, and though. And we just put chocolate chips in the dough. I like it. I did put chocolate chips because the chocolate chips get a bit more flavor than peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Some peanut butter by itself isn't that great. I like peanut butter. hanging out at my aunt and uncle's house right now um so i haven't really got a chance to edit because of everything going on but it's, i have coffee now so maybe i can find a song for this video i need to get it uploaded because soon since i'm gonna be trying to film like every single day again i'm gonna have to you know find a way to have a time to just sit down knock out a couple of hours of work get the videos up and all this stuff also i think kai is homesick or something because he keeps asking to leave and i told him we can't because we can't go anywhere else so i walked in the jeep and i just left him in there for a minute or two because it's way too hot out here but he keeps barking at me yeah kai it's way too hot out here you want to go inside now okay come on let's go inside it's just too hot we can't go home, okay? It's Home is like eight hours away. This is home now. Well, it's been a, it's been a long day. Um, I'm still kind of readjusting to the whole freedom to do anything and go everywhere, but I spent most of my morning helping Mimi uh, with her table and stuff, trying to get that whole situation down and um, uh, made breakfast and everything. And then after that, I went over and just spent some time with my cousins and I've just been kind of hanging out ever since. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit, you know, difficult to vlog and stuff while I'm, you know, spending most of my time with my family and I can't really be off the truck yet because my drive shaft broke. So I'm gonna be here probably for a week or so, you know, working on that, trying to get all that situated. But I just, you know, wanted to, you know, vlog about it and stuff. So um, one of my Patreon supporters actually, Chris Rickard, told me that him and his girlfriend are gonna be traveling in his Jeep TJ. And that's actually really cool. And he sent me this video and he asked me if I would share it on my channel. 
and I was like, sure, I mean, it's really cool that he's doing this and not very many people can do that. I'm actually really excited to see his setup. So, you know, best of luck to him. Maybe run into each other one day and yeah, I'm gonna show that here. If you wanna follow him, I will link his TikTok below and um, I'm gonna go to sleep. Night night, Kay. This is my girlfriend, Bella. She's the smartest person I know. She makes me laugh. And as you can tell, she is absolutely stunning. This is me. I love to work on cars, to skate, to climb, and to get the most out of life in any way I can. We're both baristas at coffee shops. We both love to surf, and we're both obsessed with travel. We've been dating for three and a half years now, since high school, and we are absolutely crazy about each other. We've been on some really amazing adventures together, and we've always talked about a road trip across the United States, but it's never been realistic enough to actually happen until now. This is our 1997 Jeep Wrangler. It's come a pretty long way. We're planning a road trip to California, zigzagging across the United States, but the only problem is its travel is really expensive. If you could Venmo us literally any amount, even a dollar, it would really make this dream come true. The money would go towards gas, food, and repairs. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll keep you updated on our adventure.